Nairobi, Governor Sakaja, to speak on his own behalf and on behalf of COG, and thereafter invite on stage the CS Transport Kipchumba Murkomen. Karibu, Your Excellency. President um, of the Republic of Kenya, Waziri Murkomen, Waziri Machogu, PSS who are here, uh, Balozi, EU, um, and the entire team, members of parliament. Um, I'll speak on my behalf. I don't have authority from the chair of COG to speak on behalf of the COG, um, but I'm sure our remarks uh, represent what we feel as governors. Um, traffic management is indeed a shared function that also the counties have a role on. Um, I'm delighted, Your Excellency, to see very many leaders coming together um, from government, from the private sector, from our development partners, from research and academia, gathered here today to launch this absolutely vital plan. I'm very pleased, Your Excellency, that you will lead the inauguration of the new road safety strategy. On my part, it's a pleasure to host all of you um, in Nairobi and to welcome you most warmly. I think we all have an idea of the magnitude of the problem um, that we are facing. We've lost too many people um, on our roads. And this isn't only the only matter of concern. There's also too much pollution um, on the road, particulate matter, especially in the city. Children are coughing, you know, going to school. And due to these respiratory illnesses, um, it actually accounts for 20% of the disease load, Your Excellency, as per the 2023 economic survey done by the Ministry of Planning. I will say again, as I've said before, Your Excellency, behind these numbers are called tra real tragedies, Your Excellency. Everyone who's passed on um, in 2023 or 2022 was somebody's child. They were loved. They had something to look forward to doing in life. Those dreams are gone. Those families are left with memories. Those families are left with grief. Those families are left with bills to pay. Many of those that we've lost, Your Excellency, also have been young people. If I remember right, a clear majority were below the age of 40. They had productive years ahead of them, and we've lost that as a country. We leaders have an opportunity to change all of this. Our generation of leaders, Your Excellency, can be one that finally solves this traffic, transport, and pollution um, problem. Your Excellency, I'm, I'm very pleased by the work that uh, the Minister, our Cabinet Secretary, Kipchumba Murkomen, has been doing together with NTSA, um, George Njau and, uh, and the Board, Manoj. They've been doing a good job. We need to radically look at our laws, sir. The Traffic Act that we have was first passed in, on the 11th of November, 1953, Your Excellency, and commencement date was 1st January, 1954. It, is, it still has some relics of the you know, history of this city. I'll give you an example. There are only three people who can stop a car, according to the Traffic Act, Section 52. Police officer, an ambulance, and a Maasai herding cattle. It still provides for them, if you look at Section 52. So I know people have been complaining about the herders. Nairobi was owned by Maasai, so they actually have authority, legally, to be herding their cows and to stop uh, traffic. I don't know if we need to amend that because of the heritage of, of the city, but it tells us that there's something that needs to be looked at in our regulations. I think it must be 52-4 um, uh, of, that, of, that, uh, of that act. Your Excellency, all the rules that are required are known to all of us. Section 60 of the same law prohibits more than one billion passenger on a border border. It's clear. The law is there. The police know the law. We know the law. We see six people on a bike, five people on a bicycle. Um, one of the positions I hold that I don't like, Your Excellency, I'm the patron of a group of widows, of Boda Boda riders. Widows. You know, we formed that group in Roisambu when I was senator. And it keeps piling up. We're losing so many of our riders. They think traffic lights are a suggestion. They go anti-clockwise on a roundabout, Your Excellency. But as they do that, we watch them. The police watch them. And we wonder why these numbers are high. I don't think there's a need for much more, you know, than we already have within our, 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 our legal, you know, uh, frameworks. The laws are clear. Let us just have the shared responsibility to do what is needed to be done. A few months ago, um, I think it was in February, I was meeting uh, 
the matatu Karagasha in your team, the Matatu Corridor uh, representatives, uh, yes, Mudeu, um, as I always meet them, Excellency. And before that meeting, I called George and asked him to give me the statistics of uh, road accidents. He said, first, Nairobi is highest. But the cause is that in many of our Matatu Tamini, there are wines and spirit shops, the, the drivers and touts, as they wait, isn't it? Eh? Forward Zako, my friend. As they wait, wanakunywa, and then they go and drive those vehicles. Excellency, I have closed 150 of those uh, wines and spirits that are at Matatu Terminai, and we will not open them, Your Excellency. We can, we can have them operate elsewhere, but I have closed them. If you go to the back streets of, of, of the CBD, um, if you go to Country Bus, you will not find them anymore. And so, Kiski Anduru, please, Usini Pige, Nikitu Mzuri Nimefanya, Your Excellency. Because we cannot lose lives in that, um, in that manner. Um, and, 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 and many of them, Your Excellency, when you give an off license for a wines and spirit, the off license means that somebody can buy and go with it home to, to have their drink, and they don't want to go to a bar. What happens? They introduce one seat. Then there are two bus, bus tools, and it becomes a full-fledged bar, you know, and we've had too many of those. So we've closed them down, Excellency, um, to, to make sure that we have uh, road safety um, in, our, in, our, in our county. Um, we're working with the NTSA to make sure that all the Boda Boda riders are in circles, just in the same manner that Matatus are in circles. If they're not in circles, we will not be able to regulate. And a lot of the accidents are happening in that, in that sector. I'm glad, and I can see some representatives here, um, many of them you will find today with the reflectors that show this person is from this part of the city, um, is from Kayole, is from Dagoreti South, and they operate this route. This is their number. And we've seen more safety coming out um, of that, Your, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, um, additionally, uh, we, we look forward um, to being part of implementation of, of this plan. Um, we are grateful that you have supported us um, as counties and as Nairobi County. We're looking forward to the ITS system being rolled out, the integrated uh, traffic management system, um, so that we can, we can now implement the sport fines. I saw Waziri Murkomen speaking very well on Citizen TV the day before yesterday. And uh, thank you for mentioning the work that we're doing together. In Dubai, the entire police department is funded by, road f by fines. There's no budget. The fines. We did a study, uh, and I'm sure if Kura was here, I've not seen Kura, um, they tell you, from, yes, Engineer Kinoti is there. Engineer Kinoti did the study with the Koreans, I, I think. From the junctions that you see along um, Kileleshua, Lovington, coming up to Ngong Road, where there are those cameras, if we find somebody just 3,000 shillings, Your Excellency, um, for those contraventions, and uh, I'm glad George has the Mpesa number of everyone who has a number plate in this country, and we can take it directly. Each of these junctions will give us 1.5 billion shillings, Your Excellency. That 1.5 billion shillings times the number of junctions we're doing, you know, depending on the period of time, can be able to fund road safety, can be able to fund our police and our, our, our vigilance um, on the roads. So I hope that we can move along with that. Um, the issues between the court and ourselves on how that then is, is utilized is another story. But let us be able to protect our people. A life lost by an accident is, is almost wasted, you know. Uh, people have struggled through their lives. They have gone to school, you know, they have dealt with health care. And then a drunkard just hits you and, and, and you die. You know, it, it, it's really the worst, the worst way to lose um, our people. So, Excellency, with those many remarks, I want to assure you, and I, I know it is the position of the Council of Governors, we're ready to support in implementing measures that will ensure there is safety on our roads and that we can preserve the lives of our people. So the statistics that we've been seeing can start going down and that we can make more use of these productive people um, of the Republic of Kenya. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Allow me now to, to invite uh, my brother, the CS of Transport, Kipchumba Murkomen. Tumpige Makofi, Tafarani. Thank you very much, Governor Sakaja, my friend. Your Excellency, President William Samoe Ruto, CGH.